This is the introduction to the PetroSkills Petro Academy skill module covering reservoir flow properties at the fundamental level. Fundamental understanding of the flow through rocks is extremely important to understand the behavior of the reservoir. The property which defines the conductivity of the fluid in the rocks is permeability, and the behavior of the flow is normally described by Darcy's Law. However, Darcy's law can take many forms, and depending on the nature of flow, we need to understand how to extend Darcy's law equation. For example, depending on whether the flow is single-phase oil, single-phase gas, or it is multi-phase fluids, the equations to calculate the rates changes. We cannot simply apply an equation derived for oil for other fluids. A reservoir can encounter both linear flow and radial flow. It is not unusual to see linear flow in horizontal wells, but it is for radial flow in vertical wells. The pressure drop predictions based on these flow regimes are different and need to be treated differently. During the drilling process, the nearby well region is often damaged and the permeability near the well bore is altered. How to handle the changes in the flow behavior due to damage near the well bore is important to correctly predict the rate behavior of the well. We normally consider the concept of skin factor to properly account for this behavior. When a well is stimulated or we alter the near wellbore properties, we can manipulate our productivity equation to determine how that alteration is going to impact the productivity of the well. The calculations are simple, yet very important to correctly understand the economic impact of the stimulation. Reservoirs are rarely homogeneous, and we need to account for the permeability heterogeneity in properly calculating the productivity of the well. Depending on the distribution of the permeability heterogeneity, different sets of equations need to be used to calculate the effective flow behavior. For gas wells, because of low viscosity of the gas and relatively high velocities near the well bore, traditional Darcy's Law equation may not be applicable. We need to account for additional pressure drop due to high velocity of gas by supplementing Darcy's Law. Not including the supplementary term can significantly overestimate the amount of gas a well is capable of producing. Darcy's Law and all its deviations and extensions are crucial to understand the behavior of oil and gas wells. Without understanding these extensions, no reservoir engineer would be able to correctly predict the rate at which the well is capable of producing. This module covers all these extensions and deviations with appropriate examples.